Yo, what's up YouTube? My name is Ransom. I'm here with a quick tutorial in Logic Pro X 10.5. I want to show you guys how you can make some cool sounding samples of your own. Uh, today, I'm going to go for kind of a Pierre Bourne vibe. Um, he really likes to use reverse effects and stuff like that. So I want to show you guys a couple ways to kind of get that, that vibe going. So check it out. Uh, I'm going to make a new software instrument track. I'm going to add Alchemy. And then I will also... Um, I'm going to go into keys and add um, just any sound really um, will work. I do have a keyboard in front of me. I'm just going to play something super basic, uh, something you could definitely punch in on the piano roll as well. Um, let me see here. So I'm going to play, I'm going to use this sound. We'll just, I'm not going to be picky with the sound. Um, go ahead and use this one. I'm going to change my BPM up to 140 and turn my metronome on and record. So it's a little off. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, fix that up a little bit. And uh, yeah, so once you got that, what we're gonna do is right click, go bounce in place, uh, or bounce and join and bounce in place here. And from there, uh, the important one to have checked is mute. Uh, have the source mute and uh, hit OK. And now we have a new audio track that we can work with. I'm going to select this track and come up to the region properties of it and then come down to more and check the reverse box. So let's see what we got now. So that sounds pretty cool already, you know, uh, but I'm not done with that yet. What I want to do actually is come back up to the original track we used and delete the MIDI and add a lead on top of this reverse track we just we just made. So I'm going to add a lead with the same sound and everything, um, and then we'll go ahead and do the same thing. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to record. So I guess before I recorded that, I wanted to tell you it's kind of important to have this more of like a lead, less chords, and more of like a lead kind of deal. So I'm going to fix this up a little bit in the piano roll, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to right click on it and go bounce in place and uh, source on mute and hit OK. And now we have these two re um, tracks. We got to reverse this this new audio track so let's go reverse this real quick and we're good to go now let's see what we got so I, that sounds pretty cool to me really at this point you could continue doing this uh, method um honestly if you got something that sounds decent like i think this sounds okay i might fill out a little more but at this point, you could literally add like an 808 or something, and it'll sound cool. You know what I mean? So let me show you real quick what we got. Let's see, I'm kind of curious what this sounds like. Turn this down a little bit. Oh, yeah. So it'd be like something like, like this. Let me record this. Mess that little last piece up. We could fix that. But yeah, I mean, as you can tell, I mean, this this already has a cool vibe, I think. This is, this would be a vibe I'd work with, you know? And uh, let's turn that up and uh, let's see what we got from here. But yeah, at this point, you can add claps, hi-hats, and... Uh, after you add all that, it'd be pretty much a complete beat. And uh, I don't know. I think I think this this is going to sound cool. I'm going to definitely keep working on this one. So, yeah, hope, hopefully this helped and you guys uh, found something useful in it. A uh, quick little additional tip. If you want to fill out your, your uh, samples a little more, if they're feeling a little too dry or choppy, what you can do is um, add an EQ on it and take the high pass and 
and bring bring it down, cut off the highs. That will help a little bit. And you can also add reverb. And that will help a lot. Actually, reverb will really help a lot with reverse stuff. So I don't I don't know why, but uh it really just kind of fills it and makes it sound unique. So give that a shot. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great day. Please subscribe if this helped and uh leave a like and uh rock and roll. Catch you on the next one. Peace.